What's going on everybody, Jake here again, and today I actually have the gaming setup and room tour for April of 2014. Sorry I didn't do a March one, I was actually going to get to one at near the end of the month, but never got the time, and I was out of state. Um, and I might tell you about that later, but for now let's go ahead and get started. So as usual I'm going to start off with this poster once more, and I'm going to try and breeze through everything, and some stuff has changed, but it's mostly with the setup, so I'll get onto that as soon as possible. Here we have the clothes rack. We have a piano bench with some weights and some lightsaber blades, some walking sticks, stuff like that. No, stuff I never really touch anymore. The door, of course, the drawing up there. This is an area I can't really keep clean. The Broncos flag, my diploma, um, bullets. Here are the first bullets I've ever fired. Uh, these were from a 22 revolver. That was a little while ago. Marker, some seashells from Florida where I was. Uh, the lightsabers again. I had a few people asking about these. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do make them. Um, the one in the back is my most recent. It actually has a an official um, Covertec belt clip. The other one, such as this one I made, this one was made by a friend here, and this one was actually one of my very first, uh, very nice design. Uh, it actually has some LEDs inside. The switch is a little stuck, so I'm going to work on that as soon as possible. Uh, and that one's actually called the Natiri. I think I have a video on that somewhere on my channel. Um, moving down, I have a statehood quarters book that's empty. Some stones, books, trophies, all that good stuff. School stuff, again, my CDs are still down there as well as The Hobbit. And I Am Legend. I haven't really done anything with those yet. Uh, moving on, I have my fan here. It just keeps my whole room and my setup nice and cool. School stuff, closet, you know what, just for the hell of it. I'll go ahead and show you all the Nerf guns and the good stuff in there. It's kind of a mess, but for the most part I have Nerf guns and some other extra computer parts up there. For my bureau, I actually cleaned it up a little bit. There's uh, some stuff for music. Here's my bureau. I'm probably going to get a new one sooner or later. And on top of that, I actually decided to reorganize with the two 24-inch um, monitor boxes. Some hair stuff. I don't know why that's exactly there. Tape, which I use to pack up the uh, Corsair H60. And on top of that, we have a new box for something that's new in the setup. It's the Logitech Z506 5.1 surround sound system. It's uh, 75 watts. It's got a subwoofer, dedicated bass control... Oh, uh, you know, 3D stereo, it's it's amazing, so I'll go ahead and get to that when I get there. The painting, the Game of Thrones poster and the other painting right below that, of course, we have the futon, which is uh, nice and neat today. Blanket, good old, good stuff. A shoebox with some other crap in it. Got a pair of shoes, got the piano under there. And, of course, moving on further than that, I got a pair of shoes. I got a, um, it's actually a compressor. Um, a battery or a car jumper and it's got a little it's got a little light so you can work it's pretty nice I carry that in my car usually I have my lamp I have my work hat I have some stuff pertaining to my desk and I'll go ahead and get there now so here's the desk here's my iPhone we have some uh, Memorex DVD R's so whenever I burn videos onto discs I uh, use this guy right here, and this is a Canon. I don't know the exact model of it, but it's it's very nice. Um, I'll move my wallet. Just well, I don't need to move my wallet, but I'll go ahead and show you a sneak peek of what I do with the cables for this thing today. Because there's obviously one for this, or well, there are two for this, and um, one of them is power. One of them is the connector to the camera. And then I also have the power adapter for the camera. Um, Back here as well so they're both plugged into the wall here and they are both nicely velcroed right on the back of this so there are no wires on the floor like there were in the previous video here is all the games and the uh, iPhone 4s box probably gonna upgrade pretty soon Targus tripods it's the uh, TGT 58 TR it's very nice um, very very durable I've dropped it multiple times it's got a level right over here and it's got a level on the other side right there uh... so there's a light little flashlight just leds for working in the dark and working in the computer um, this is a little uh... kit i actually picked up from walmart it was like five bucks it's a little pad you can clean off uh... monitors and stuff like that with it 
Here's my uh, DIY um, fan coaster. Another coaster with some half and half. And right behind that, of course, we have all the boxes. So I've become a real big fan of Corsair products, not necessarily internal products um, as of yet, but for the most part, I, I do like the brand in general. So, of course, I have the H100i box here next to the CX750M power supply box with the i5-3570K, the GeForce GTX 760, and the Z77X D3H, as well as the Corsair Vengeance 1500, the two SteelSeries mouse boxes, the K70 keyboard, and the M65 mouse. Of course, the violators will be shot, survivors will be shot again. Again, that's because it takes up room, but I might add something there. I have something in mind, which you guys will probably see in the next video later this month. Right above that, of course, we have the Hobbit map. Nothing really has changed over here, for the most part. It's um, still deciding what I'm going to do with that. Uh, it's spring, so there's going to be a lot more time to, uh, to start rearranging and stuff like that. So now we'll go ahead and go on to the setup itself. First of all, on the very left here, we have the left speaker of the Z506. Oh, before I get onto that, here's the rear left, or the left rear speaker. This is for the surround sound that's way over here. So, here's one, there's two, and we got three more to go, including the sub, not including the subwoofer. Uh, right on top of that, if you're curious, this is actually a piece that I got online from a website called Etsy. If you've seen The Hunger Games Catching Fire, then you know what it is. Uh, it is not gold-plated. It is a zinc metal alloy. Um, it is the band that, um, that what's her name? Uh, whatever her name is, with the weird hair. It's the band that she got, or the bangle, that she got for Haymitch, and that Haymitch gave to Finnick O'Dare before the Hunger Games. So yes, I do like that movie. And I really like that piece. It's very well done. Uh, I don't wear it, unfortunately, um, because the other one I actually got from the company broke. <laughs> so I will refer you to another company um, that sells a much better version. Here are my keys. Here is the first 24-inch monitor. I have a Titanfall background right now. I have my keys over there. I have the Razer Nostromo, which I barely ever use. So I might do a giveaway with this, honestly. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, we have the middle center speaker here, which actually can go on top of a monitor, but I figured it would take up that spot right there nice and neatly. Um, moving on, we have the Corsair K70 with the Cherry MX Blue switches. Right underneath that, we have the Logitech MK320, which is the wireless, mouse, uh, wireless keyboard and mouse combo that I barely ever use. Um, we have the Logitech C310 webcam. We have some Skullcandy Hesh 2s. I got those probably a year ago when I was in New York at an uh, um, FYE or For Your Entertainment store. They're about 40 bucks. They're pretty nice. I don't use them too much besides when I go on to campus. Uh, here's the other monitor. They're very nice together. I might get another one. I'm thinking about it. Um, go ahead and wake that guy up again. Um, right underneath the first one, we actually have a Kingston card reader. I have a 16 gig um, SanDisk card in here. It's not moving anywhere. It's Velcroed to the stand. I thought it would be nice instead of moving around or anything. Got some smudge on the desk. Kind of hard to see. Oh, well. Um, there's the other speaker. And on top of this speaker, well, first of all, this speaker has the power and the volume controls. And you can also plug in a pair of headphones. On top of this speaker, we have another one of these gold bangles. Except this gold bangle was from the other company. And this one is actually plated in 18 karat gold. You can definitely see the uh, color difference in the light. Um, this one is much more fake and this one is much more dark and very elegant gold. Uh, that This was actually fairly cheap. This was about 22 bucks total. Uh, I will tell you now, the company is Moonfire Charms and they originate out of Singapore. So it does take two to three weeks for it to be shipped, especially into the U.S., but they ship internationally, and it's pretty great. It looks amazing. It looks exactly like the other one, except it's just plated in gold. 
So we have the Steel Series Mini QCK mouse pad with the Corsair M65 mouse. I love that mouse. It's great. You can go into the software and use a and use a sensor. You can actually sense the the texture of the mouse pad and and set a DPI for you if you want it to. We have the Corsair um, Vengeance 1500 headset. I love it. It's amazing. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Gets a little weary on the ears from time to time, but that's because I have really thick sideburns. It's kind of a pain in the ass. It kind of itches. Uh, right behind that, we have an old USB hub, which I've had some problems with, but that was only with the internet adapter. So I have the internet adapter plugged into the back of the motherboard directly now. And there's a little tiny adapter for the Logitech wireless stuff. Of course, we have the EVGA discs and all that. And the Minecraft poster. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into the computer itself. I'm going to try and not spend so much time with it. Of course, I have my chair there too. I'm not going to spend as much time with it uh, as I did last time, just for the sake of it. Because um, I really rambled on in the last video. So this one, I'm really just going to be showing you everything that there is to uh, to show. So, here it is. Um, there have been a lot of recent changes since you guys have last seen. I'm gonna go ahead and move it here real quick. It's pretty damn heavy too. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on the inside here and go over some of the specs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six NZXT performance fans. They are not the greatest but I rely on them because they work the way I want them to and they are super super silent so if I just kinda stick my stick my mic in here that's on the medium fan setting very very quiet my cable management isn't the best but the uh, CX750M came with these very nice flat cables which don't take up a ton of room um, and are very easy to maneuver, especially with all the space that they give you on the back side of this case. Uh, this is a NZXT Phantom 410. Very, very nice case. I love it. We have the motherboard in there. We have the Corsair H100i right here. It's a dual radiator. I have the fans on the top running a pull. Um, this fan on the back is actually an intake. So, <clears throat> excuse me, intake. So all the air from the outside is being pushed into the case, so it's very cool and then it's going straight up to the radiator as well as any warm air that's generated is going through the radiator as well. I get pretty damn good temps and I'll go ahead and open up core temp right here for you. So real quick besides the computer specs running at 36, 35 degrees Celsius right now and the highest I've ever gotten to on load I think it was probably about 50 which is very very good I love it um, and that's still on the medium fan setting. If I was on high, probably would stay to about high 40s, high 40 degrees Celsius. But I don't really care. As long as it keeps it nice and cool and functioning, it's all good for me. So again, we have the uh, 4 gigs of Ballistic Sport back there with the 2 gigs of G-Skill Rip Jaws X right in the middle. I'm going to upgrade that to, to probably Corsair Vengeance RAM pretty soon here. Um, of course we have that motherboard, we have two hard drives, we have a Seagate one terabyte on the top and a Seagate 500 gig on the bottom, they're both Barracudas. I was going to go with Western Digital when I was first building my rig um, and then decided not to because I just found that the Seagates were more reliable. And of course we have a Seagate facility not very far from here. So that's always a benefit. The 500 gig of course is where everything is stored on um, music and videos and all media as of late is actually going straight to the terabyte drive and it's actually on the terabyte drive. Probably gonna hook up a RAID configuration pretty soon here. You might see that by the end of this month but I'm not exactly sure because I'm still doing pretty well without it. My cable management's pretty good in here if I do say so myself and I do have of course, a uh, optical disk drive. Yes, it's an LG. Uh, it's an M disk. It's great. I actually uh, just recently helped my friend with a rig that has the exact same one in it because it's, it's pretty much the cheapest and it can really do anything you want it to. So, uh, for the hell of it, I'll also tell you that those are blue cathode lights. You can get them in a two piece set. There's one down here and one up here with these white cables that go down to this 
tiny little blue box. They're very, very nice. Very bright. They pretty much light up this corner of my desk. And they go into a PCI bracket. It's that silver one in the back there. I'll go ahead and flip the switch. And then, of course, you can't see anything <laughs> with, with them off. The Corsair, uh, the H100i has a blue RGB, or the blue LED from the RGB um, that's currently on there right now. Go ahead and flip those lights back on. If I can find the switch, there it is. So it's great. It's a great rig. Uh, it runs anything I want it to. Titan Vol, Crisis 3, highest settings, whatever the heck you want. Uh, of course, there's that 760 in there. Uh, and I was planning on getting a backplate for the 760, which I might still do, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the uh, top panel here, just to show you the aesthetic. So here's the H100i radiator. It sits on the top here. The greatest thing about this case is that there are two cutouts for 120 or 140 millimeter fans, and there's no mesh. If I move the radiator right now, which I won't obviously, there's a circular cutout here and a circular cutout here and no mesh. There's nothing between the fan and the radiator and this fan and, that, and the radiator there. Uh, so it's great. I was able to put the tubes right in there very easily. I just stuck the, uh, stuck the block on the CPU, put the radiator up through the top and mounted it and I was done. So right now it's actually some decent cool air. I'm going to go ahead and kick up the fan controller and just get it running a little better. It's very nice. Um, plenty of room, as you can see. You can kind of see that there's a lot of room between the motherboard right there and then where the actual side of this case is. There's lots of room. And going back down to the last part of the setup is that um, poor, lonely rear right speaker. Um, the cables for these speakers are very long. You can see I have it tied up in a bunch there. Um, there's lots of it. You could essentially put it wherever, but I decided that that would be the best place because I didn't want to, you know, wrap it around here and put it over here and then wrap that one around and put it somewhere else. So that's temporary. It might change. I don't think it will because I don't really do surround sound that much unless I'm on the headset. Um, and these three speakers right here, and this subwoofer, of course, give very, very, very nice sound. Um, if you wanted a perfect example, there's a um, Game of Thrones trailer. It's season four, trailer four. Great sound through that. Um, it's amazing, and I actually might do that for, for you here. Go ahead and give you the inside look at the computer and give you a sound test um, if you want. I can't really hear it, so I'll be quiet. It's steady. That's the full, that's the highest fan setting. So let's see. By the way, on YouTube, I just reached 136 subscribers with three, that's wrong, 30,011 video views, which is awesome. I'm actually going to refresh that. And nothing probably changed because most of the time it takes a little while for YouTube to update that. And nope, nothing changed. So I'll go ahead and do Game of Thrones Season 4, Trailer 4, and I will go ahead and show you this uh, in HD, of course, and you can get a sound test of these speakers here. Your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth, and you'll know the debt is paid. Always gets what she wants. Let the priests argue over good and evil. They can live in my new world. Or they can die in their old one. The Starks have always ruled the North. If they're alive, the country will rally to their side. But I, a Stark, hasn't been seen since her father was killed. I'll find her. This isn't the end. You need to make it. They tell you a secret. The Lannisters are the only ones who pay their debts. I broke Stannis. The war is not over. We 
Vincent says all he needs to crush his head. And there you go. So that's going to be fantastic. That's actually coming in four days. I'm still excited. It's going to be awesome. So uh, that pretty much concludes this uh, setup video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Ask me any questions. Um, <laughs> there is going to be one thing. I might do an unboxing of it. That's actually going to be probably tomorrow, maybe. That's going to be Thursday, April 3rd. Um, I hope everybody's April Fool's jokes, if you did any, went well. Um, uh, if you want one, uh, if you have some good friends who really like Coke or, or Pepsi or soda, well, let's put it this way. Take some Mentos, freeze them in water, make them ice cubes, Put those ice cubes in a soda and give them to your friend. If you know, uh, if you can think of how long they'll be drinking that soda, it's basically a Mentos time bomb. So, uh, you're welcome. Let's put it that way. And uh, thank you guys for watching again. Do whatever you want to do. Ask any questions. I'll try and get this model of the uh, Canon in there as soon as possible. I did have a Kindle Fire over here, by the way. I forgot to include that. It's not over there currently. It's actually in my school stuff. But uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, if you want to ask me any questions, you can either message me, which I don't check very often, or you can just comment, and, um, and I'll reply to you probably an hour later if I, can, if I can hold myself to it. So thank you guys for watching again. I'm going to go ahead and pop on the uh, thing up here. Oh, and the other thing I actually have to, to measure the intake fan the intake temperature of this case you know, pop this on here this is very easy by the way no screws nothing and just pop that back on the thing I have to measure the temperature of the intake of this case is actually an Accurite little temperature thing down here last minute thing 24 degrees Celsius which is pretty good it's about 70 or 60 something degrees uh, I could be wrong it shows your humidity and you always want low humidity um, especially in an environment with electronic components because if you have any humidity um, well if you have a high humidity then you're gonna have condensation water droplets forming on stuff and you definitely don't want that ins inside of a, a PC so that's the last thing I'm gonna say um, have a good one guys I will see you in the next few days and if not then I will try to do another live stream you, I believe you can find me on twitch.com slash the ninth divine I don't stream very much, but I did stream Titanfall one time, and I forgot to archive it, so you can't watch it again. But I will definitely, definitely archive the next one, and I will see you guys next time.